What's going on guys? The Gaming Ram here and welcome back to GTA 5 Real Life Mods. And today we got Heavy 17. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. We have Heavy 17 here ready for duty. And it is early, early, early morning morning. Mala bala bala. It is early. It is early morning here. And uh as you can see, it is uh, 427 in the morning. And we're stopped here just to get it ready for the day here at this little diner. And we're about to head out and see what we can get into today. Uh, like I said, I, um, I don't know if I did I post that video. But anyway, but the reason I have Heavy 17 is because we're going to be using uh, Heavy 17 for a couple of days. And then we're going to swap over. We're going to use Heavy 13 Rotator for a couple of days. So anyway, we are truck is good to go i'm good to go at my coffee we are ready to see if we can get some good calls today so without further ado let's head out all my lights are working truck looks so good so good all right so i just got a call for us uh, up in david's quarter we got a toll for a 2005 freightliner classic it's an xl truck uh apparently the truck is not starting and so he wants a tow truck to come up there and take a look at it so that's where we're gonna head to right now up in davis quarter that was about one of the first calls, calls that we ever did was up in Davis Quarters, actually, um, to tow a truck at the bottom of the mining pit. Uh, come on. Uh, oh, come on, Kenworth. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It was a very hard pull, but, you know, Heavy 17 managed to pull that truck out of there. It was uh, a lot of a lot of tugging and pulling, but it rescued it, and we got that truck delivered. We was going to tow it out of there with just, you know, the truck and the trailer, but that was too much to ask for, so we had to just abandon it and just get the truck. But hopefully he's not at the bottom of the pit, and hopefully he's like... Because that's a hard pull in that dirt. But man, it's foggy. Well, I got one again. Y'all gonna learn one day to keep running out on that road. All right, here we go. Yeah, I keep it down. As uptight security guard, I tell you what. Anyway, he said he's up on the top of the hill. What? I got a call. These security guards, man, they are. They're something. And Kenworth should have him for breakfast. <laughs> and driving his Prius. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's our truck. Alright, let's see what's going on. Old, old classic. Got the big red giant on the there. Oh, Cummins. That is pretty cool. 
Let's see. Be around here. All right, how's it going, man? So, uh, I'm here to tell you. So, you figured out what is wrong with it, or? Oh, okay. I, see, I hear you. I hear you. All right. So, uh, show you guys. So, yeah, it's like, um, truck's not starting. It's like the starter isn't, isn't catching. Most likely the starter went out or so. So, can I get this closed? All right. We're gonna have to lock it, but we're gonna hook up. Let me drop this boom down and uh, hook up to it. Old sucks when that starter goes out, man. I tell you what. Let's hook on up. Hook on up. All right. We got more stuff to do. We're gonna have to get under it though. We're gonna have to get that dry shaft disconnected. Give me a couple of minutes, we'll be heading out, man. Alright, so let me get my tools and uh, I'll be back. Alright, so we got the dry shaft get disconnected now. Uh, I'm gonna put my tools back and then we are ready to head out. Alright, everything looks good to go. All right, man, so you can ride with me if you want to. So we are ready to go. I'm, I'm gonna release the air real quick out of the brakes so we can uh, roll it. All right, we are now ready to roll, so let's go. All right. Waiting for him to get in here and uh, All right, man. Let's rock and roll. Got to lower his truck down a little bit so it doesn't... Oh, hold on. All right, man, hang tight. I forgot to close the hood. I forgot to close his hood. Oops. All right, I'm just going to make sure that this thing's hooked right and proper. All right. It looks good. We just kind of have to lower it down a little bit. Lower her down. All right. We're good. You know, it's just getting out of here. Just take it easy and we should be good. That wheel's rolling a little bit. All right, we're good. Just got to take it easy out of here. We're dropping this off at that little shop. It's, uh, this truck just needs a starter, so they can slap that on pretty dang quick. Fifteen miles per hour. You gotta love him. And I can't pass him because I don't have enough. We're towing, and I don't have enough power. I'm passing this guy. I can't pass him. He's so lucky I can't pass him. I don't have enough power. I love you get to a 45 miles per hour zone and hit the brakes. I'm gonna try to pass this guy. To this little service station right here. Alright, so he said when it parked in the back. Alright. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make that turn, that little gate. 
All right, we got enough. We're good. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to drop it here because I ain't gonna be able to make that turn. I'm gonna quickly put his dry shaft back in his truck so that way he don't have to worry about it. And so, uh, all right. So let me get these tools real quick and uh, we do that. All right. So I got his dry shaft put back in. Truck is good to go. There we go. This fog, hopefully it clears up pretty soon. All right guys, so I got a call down in the city of a truck that, uh, basically I got a call that one of the a business owner he wants a truck removed uh, it's in a no parking zone trucks not supposed to park there but he parked his truck there anyway so we're gonna go over there and tow out this truck is actually one of the one of the businesses that we cover with um, one of the little trucks apparently it's an abandoned truck it's been sitting in this parking lot for about four days and uh, the owner just called me and he want the truck gone. Uh, the truck is hooked to a trailer. All right, so this truck is at this uh, Chinese place, uh, this Chinese restaurant. He just hit that guy. Man. And he hit a parked car. He hit two people. <laughs> All right. But it's at this Chinese restaurant that's up here. So he parked in the lot. They got an entrance right here. Yep. I think this is an entrance. These people don't care. All right. Yeah, I see the truck. Yellow Kenworth. Yep. That's the truck he's talking about. I mean, it don't look like no one's in it. I'm gonna check. It just looks like it's just been sitting here. Is it under a company or something? Let's see. Windows down. Let's see. Celine Trucking. Celine Trucking. It has a Mexico. It don't look like anybody's in the truck. I don't see nobody in the in the bed or anything. Yeah, just let's see. Okay. The trailer got a seal on it, so I can't check it because it has a it has a sealed trailer. All right. We're just gonna, I guess, we just hook up, you know, take it to the impound lot since. That's nothing else we can do about it, really. Getting out of here is going to be a pain in the butt. But yeah, it's it's this is odd that someone that leave their they just leave their truck here for without even notifying the the the, the uh, establishment. Like if you're gonna do something like this, at least let them know that you're gonna park your truck here. Just don't park it here. You know, especially if you're gonna park it there for like four or five days. Now, you got your windows down and everything. I mean, like I say, I don't see no one in the truck, so. I'm gonna have to get my kit, because I'm gonna have to get in there, because I'm gonna have to 
I'm gonna have to release the air, and I'm gonna have to drop the dry shaft. I'm gonna have to get my my lockout kit, man. All right, got my kit, and I believe the truck's locked. So let's see. Yeah, the truck's locked. So I mean, the you lock the doors, but then you leave the window down. How did that make any sense? All right. Let me, uh, all right, see if this worked now. Come on now. Come on now. That should be it now. There we go. Okay. We got the air release. Air should be in the system. Hopefully it has air. Alright, it's only one way to find out if it has air or not. When we start rolling, if one of those tires are dragging, we know it does not have air in the tanks. And if that's the case, we're going to have to manually put air in those tanks. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, she got air. Alright, now, like I said, getting out of here. How the heck are we going to get How do you even get in here? <laughs> I just thought of that. How did you even get in here, man? You had to be one heck of a driver to get in here. And especially to park it like that. Unless you just hop the curve. Because I don't see a way of getting out of here. I mean, I do, but... How did he turn around? <laughs> oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. We're not going to be able to go that way. We're going to have to. There's no way for us to get out of here. We're going to have to go over the curve. Because. Yeah. He. I have no idea. How did he get in that parking lot? He's it. Alright. We got it. Alright. We good. All right, we're going to drop this to the impound lot down by the docks. Got to be careful with those uh, exhaust stacks on that truck because this has a very short wheelbase. Back to our old stomping grounds around here. Haven't been down this way in a while. Here we are. I just, I hate bagging up trailers, trucks with trailers in this yard. That's the only thing I hate about this lot. Got her parked. Yeah, like I was saying, those stacks, the short cab truck, you gotta be careful with it. I gotta raise a little bit higher right now because I gotta get up under there. But, short wheelbase, yeah. Alright, that's, that was it. Oh man. Look at the old shop, guys. You remember this place? I know I say this every time I come through here, but, you know, that was home at one point, is that shop right there. That was the first shop ever. And 
to see it at this state, it hurts me. Look at the old Heavy 17 all dirty. It was a good day today. Uh, good day today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos. And uh, stay tuned. We got a couple more days with Heavy 17 before we swap over to Heavy 13. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out. I need to find a truck wash for you.